I've always been compelled to take a part in uh, whatever was happening. I think it's just deep-seated beliefs and a sense of fairness, sense of fairness, um, to try to, you know, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it anymore. My sister, Brenda Weathers, uh, was two and a half years older than me. In 1957, uh, she got kicked out of Texas Women's University for being a lesbian. She was handcuffed, taken down to the police station, because you could be arrested. We were illegal. It was illegal to be gay. But she refused to repudiate her lesbianism. And she became my hero at that instance, 17 years old. 1957, a small town in Texas, and she was handcuffed, and she did not repudiate it. We never went through the personal angst that so many do. We had the support of our parents, so that, I'm sure, helped us both without our even thinking about it very much. It was the time, just compelled, urged, drawn to this, to the movement. Um, so my sister and I, lovers, and I joined the Gay Liberation Front. Homosexuals who acknowledge their homosexuality and pattern their lives accordingly are known as gay. And the Gay Liberation Movement is challenging a society that abhors homosexuality. That's how I, I got into it. It just seemed natural. And immediately we got into the, the Biltmore Invasion. It was about 30 men. 10 women. Um, a British psychologist named Dr. Philip Feldman was doing um, shock aversion therapy to cure homosexuals. We were on the list of mental illnesses at that time. And they were having a convention at the Biltmore Hotel. And he was one of the honored guests. And he was showing his film. And it showed a, a young man, a young gay man, who was being treated and it would flash on the screen a picture of a lovely young woman. No shock. And then it would flash on the screen a really handsome young man, bzz, bzz, and shock him. And this is supposed to change him from being gay. And we were there specifically to protest this and not let the show go on. And one of our numbers stood up in the audience and said, are we gonna stand for this shit? And we all stood up and said, hell no. And we got up and we stormed the stage and refused to let him show that film. In fact, made him sit down and listen to us for a change. So that was the film. Oh, and it was, I think, two years later. They decided we were insane after all. They took us out. We weren't crazy after all. Thank you. So that's what that was the film. For me, it led into uh, writings. There was just so much going on now in the small presses. Again, because of what had started back in 1970. So here was now the, the literary scene. And I got heavily involved in that. And my partner, Jenny Wren, and I started a lesbian publishing company, uh, Clothespin Beaver Press. We won awards. This was the heyday of the small press and the independent bookstore. Well, I'm, I'm just so happy that there that it has changed. That it's so. I, this sounds so condescending to say it's so much better, because they they still have to go through so many terrible things. Maybe in the small towns, particularly the ostracism, the unfairness, the bullying. It's it's it's. We're only we still can't get married in all the states. There's so much still to do. I just say, stick your guns. Be happy. There is nothing wrong with you. I'm honored to have been part of the the pioneer generation to get it going and I, I would just say to the, the kids uh, you can pick up the reins because there's still so much more to go and you can do it and be proud <laughs>